another episode of Lord African Mind. Today, we're going to use comedic science, uh, and we're going to find some in the Bible. Um, and with that, this is King Ajalon and Subu. This is not for everybody. We know we got Negropeans and we got Afropeans. This is for the Nubian soul. Our people have spoken idographs. Idograph is an image uh, that has a symbol. The mind uh, doesn't speak in words. A to Z are symbols. Sounds are symbols. Arab script is symbols. Hindu script is symbols. So we looked into creation and everything that we saw in creation. Uh, we transferred them into uh, graphics. And those graphics produced it, a language within our soul and our spirit that was translated to our consciousness and to our awareness. And so we're going to go into a discussion of the Bible and some of our comedic uh, teachings. Hey, now. Let's do it. I wanted everybody to uh, go to Malachi chapter 4. Uh, For behold, the day is coming burning like an oven, and all the proud, yes, all who do wickedly will be stubborn. That day which is coming shall burn them up, says the Lord of hosts. In ancient Kemet, Ra uh, has some hosts. Um, the sun, moon, and stars, you and I, um, the different planets. I mean, anything that was manifested, Ra, which is radiating activity, right? Um, for lack of a better word, for those who haven't studied the matter nature, uh, what we call the matter nature, rise radiating activity. So we have the unmanifest and we have the manifest. New is called that which is unmanifest. And Ra is the supreme force that allows everything to be manifested. So everything comes from the unmanifest into the manifestation. And so the sun is used as a symbol. Uh, for many things within our ancient science, our ancient Nubian science, the science of spirituality of the spiritual sciences. So our ancestors had a lot of knowledge, a lot of wisdom, and a lot of understanding, a lot of overstanding. The European duty was to proclaim our heritage, our legacy as wicked. The Bible says Ethiopia should stretch forth her hand. The queen of the south should rise again. If you go to Isaiah 19, 19, it says they will uh, be called God's people. It's a lot of different par passages that speaks good about Ethiopia and Egypt. But when the European or uh, the so-called Jews speak about it, you, you hear a lot of, it's supposed to be a place of wickedness. And so we want to change that paradigm around because when we look in the mirror, we see ourselves as the Kemetic people. We see ourselves as the Egyptians. We see ourselves as the African. And all our energy goes out to Europeans. All our energies go out to this house of Israel. All our energies go out to the Arabians, or to Islam, or to Christianity, or to Judaism. None of our energies as being captive in North and South America, in the Caribbean islands, or throughout the world, is meant to go back to the motherland, according to their teachings. It takes our RNA and our DNA for us to go in and listen to our inner voice, which a lot of us don't want to. A lot of us are cool with the conditioning. We might wear a daishiki. We might say black power or black empowerment. You know, but what's that nigga talking about? He didn't go with that old crazy shit. So we got these paradigms in it. That we're going to go uh, into Malachi. And that's the way I pronounce it for a reason, because uh, the word ma'lah is what we see, and then chi represents energy, and the word mala, right, is another way uh, that we pronounce mali, malachi, 
You know, Molly. All right. A lot of these words are called lexicologies. They hide words within the word. But we'll get into that on a different series. Man, chapter 4. For behold, the day is coming, burning like an oven, and all the proud, yes, all who do wickedly will be stubborn. And that day which is coming shall burn them up, says the Lord of hope. Now, one thing we uh, know under the paradigm of Kemet, uh, Ra used the people as his host. The bodies belong to the, to Gaba or to the Kaaba, depending on what dialect you speak, which is the earth. And he formed these forms. He formed every form, or they formed every form, or she formed every form, because he, she, and they are just symbolic language in the English language. And since we are not masters of this language, it's kind of hard to transfer the exact state of mind or the mindset that our ancestors have. You have to dig in your DNA and your RNA and you'll get it because it's more of a centering of your soul. But we're going to use the English language to real say he, she, them. We, us all. The Nubian, Nubian souls, uh, the ancient of days, the eternal one, the infinite one, the creator, the one who came from the, that which is under manifest, or that which manifested all things. There's another saying, we believe in the one creator, the one one, without a second. So Ra, uh, the Lord of hosts, he says, that will leave them neither root nor branch. But to you who fear my name, the son of righteousness, S-U-N, shall arise with healing in his wings. And you shall go out and grow fat like style calves. Like the calves. The, the calves that's in the stall. Now, we're going to break this down. If you go into Taka, which is another word for the pyramid. Ta means power. Ta means soul. The power of soul. It's a storehouse. What's in it? Our story. The things that you see buried in the pyramid of the taka, right, is to remind your DNA and your RNA or your spiritual eye and your solar eye of who you are, what potentials you have, what that potential is meant to empower you. With that empowerment, it allows you to produce um, into the future for your generation, built off what's predicated in your past. So, when we say past, we want to say anything before captivity or colonialism or before the foreigners or the aliens invaded the whole continent in one. So, it's a history, a glorious history, glory to glory. Histories before colonialism and slavery. And us here now, we want to say from the penetrating us, the Assyrians, the Hyksois, the Persians, the Arabs, the Caucasians, the Indos, and uh, the Turks, the Ottomans. It's a lot of group uh, has been trying to penetrate for a while. Put on pause. All right. So. All these invaders. Uh, it, 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 uh, in our record of time, we have a record. We have records of time uh, throughout our continent. Uh, now I'm going to get some stuff straight with you, right quick. It says, "Do not worship false idols." So we got two things going on here, right? It says, "Hold on to the statutes of the Lord," right? And then we got Europeans and other people saying, uh, Islam, Christianity, and Judaism saying we worship statues. So we got to break all this down. A statue, right, according to England, right, is something to be upheld, a principle that is supposed to be upheld. A statue is a principle that has a procedure to be followed. The word worship, when you get into the word, root of the word worship, is to make an inquiry. Once you make the inquiry, you come into harmony with that you made the inquiry for you accept it for what it is. The third thing that entails a worship, right, is that you communicate with it, or you become imbalanced with it, or you figure out 
how to interact with that which, which you made an inquiry in, that, that which you had to accept for what it is. So African or Nubian souls, we spoke to plants, we spoke to trees, we spoke to animals, we spoke to the sun, we spoke to each other, we spoke to the air, we spoke to water, we spoke to our food when we cooked it, we spoke to our feet, we spoke to our shoes, we spoke to everything in a creation. That's called being supernatural. That's called being spiritual. That's called being conscious. That's called being aware. That's called vibrating at a frequency that everything that has been created has a life in your life. It has a purpose. The Europeans didn't do this, so when we went to colonialism, when we went to slavery, uh, he took us out of that context, and everything became Jesus. When the Arabs took us to slavery, everything became follow the path of Muhammad. When the Jews came amongst us, follow the ways of Moses. So those are the three paradigms that the Semitic people are those who are the seed of Abraham had us indoctrinated into. And then we are now we're indoctrinating our own self into that indoctrination. Another way to look at it, right, is say. These people took a ship, and then they force-fed the ship. They beat us, and we, we had to eat that ship. And we ate the ship for so long, we thought the ship was good. And now when we ship the ship, we feed it to our kids. And so we're in a perpetual state of feeding ourselves some ship. But if we go back to the beginning, if we do some research, if we make an inquiry, if we do some investigation, if we check the records, if we check the facts, we're going to find some stuff. A lot of our pastors, our ministers, our rabbis, our imams, um, through seminary school, through theology, through bibliologically, through uh, uh, being a Milana, or uh, in the rabbinical studies, and we can go on and on about those things. Um, they don't bring that part out. They are in league with the Greek Orthodox Church or the Roman Holy Catholic See or the Angelic Church, or the Protestant uh, movement, right? Those who protested against Rome to have a, a liberty to spread themselves out the world and conquer different portions of people under the doctrination of the cross to bring those people into subjection because under the doctrination of that particular cross, when they bring it to people, and I know a lot of our, our Christian brothers are not talking against you, so I'm not attacking you. When the Europeans or other foreigners brought it to us, we accepted the cross, we accepted the, 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 the death, the birth, the death, and the resurrection of the Christ. But at the same time, we lost authority and power over our society by the style and the characteristics and the personality that the foreigner came when he brought his mission. He ended up with our resources. And so you have Christ, or you have Muhammad, or you got Buddha, but you clone a lot, you paralyze, you're in a coma, you wait for somebody to come back. See, the Muslims are waiting for Muhammad and Jesus and the Mahdi to come back. The Christians are waiting for Jesus to come back. And the, the, the Hebrews are waiting for the Messiah to come. So we're in a paradigm of wait, wait. Our answer said, the spirit will come upon us and he will host himself within us and we are coming to a new mind state which is the mind being heaven, and our actions, what we create is the earth. I mean, we take from the earth and we make stuff on this earth. You gotta excuse me, family. When we pause some of these videos, I have to go into rock members, right? Because we are all members of rock. We don't want to be members, but we want to rock members because we're members of rock. Um, and so, like I said, I'm not knocking any of the brothers or sisters that happen to go into one of these foreign ideologies Theologies, religions, indoctrinations, beliefs, faith, hopes, wishes, it's okay. That doesn't make you black or not black. Okay? Here at the Lawyer African Minds, we're dealing with the African Union. The loyalty to the African Union is by your children. A lot of us waiting for somebody to come back because that's what these doctors have or something to come forward through time, a special person. And so, I'm going to demonstrate what our ancestors had and what the foreigners brought to us. 
Now, if we traveled the whole earth and we left these principles all over the earth, these spiritual guidelines, right? They're going to be found buried in, the, in all the religions. So one thing you have to understand, when you have a lie, right, with the lie is the lie. Behind the lie is more lies. But what's in front of the lie is the truth. And that truth has truth upon truth. And so, we're going to break some stuff down. On the pyramid wall, they have three chambers when you walk in to the temple. Uh, pyramid wall and also on the temple, in the temple. You have the outer chamber, which they have the sun. And it has wings. That's called the sun of righteousness. And then in the inner chamber, it has the sun and it has rays coming out. And it has umps or aluka, which is the symbols of life, eternal life. In another chamber, you have the scarab, which has the sun, which means evolution. So in creation, you have evolution. Now in the Bible, we see, to you who fear my name, another word for fear is devotion. To you who are devoted to my name, or you can say fear, different translations read son of righteousness or son of justice. If you use what they call the American Bible, which is the Catholic Bible, it says the son of justice. In the King James Version, it says the son of righteousness. For you guys who think King James is better than the, uh, the Catholic Version, they the same thing. Just, they just use words in English to say things. In Latin, it might be something else. But we're going to say it says the son of righteousness. So it's a symbol that goes with the son of righteousness. That's older than these books. That's older than um, the Hebrew history. So, like I was saying in the beginning, these things came out of Abraham. Abraham came out of the land of Ur. Ur is a place in the Caucasus Mountains. He came into Egypt, or Kemet. He met, in another part of the story, he met Melchizedek, or Melchizedek, right? There's another word that they use, right? Makara, which was the king of Ascal. But in the Bible narrative, he was the king of Salam, the king of righteousness, the king of peace, the king of Jerusalem, or king of Rasulam, or the king of Yasalam. Depends if you use the Messeric, the Amorit, or the Hebrew, or right? What script you use? There's a lot of different scripts. Another thing I want to point out to the family uh, of scholars, uh, families of those who are making quiet, those who are searching the record, we find all the manuscripts that deal with the Bible in Egypt. The Greek versions and the Greek Hebrew version. We even find the Latin interpretation are uh, used from the documents that they found in the Sudan, in what they call Mezarim, or Egypt. Uh, we know Mount Sinai, where Moses is supposed to talk to God, is in the land of Kemet, which they call Egypt. We know Joseph went to Egypt. We know Moses was in Egypt. We know Jesus was in Egypt, according to all the, to the characteristics of these characters, right? So we know Egypt is something to be looked at. It's the only country on earth Right? That people have written about for centuries upon centuries. I know some people want to say things started in summer, some things started in Mesopotamia, and all these things. The authenticity of Egypt in the recorded history of any civilization on this grand planet, the planet of life, third from the sun, seventh created, and a heavy spirit of nine bodies, right? Has been what they call Egypt or Kenya. So we're going to tie it into this book. It's a prophecy that says that the rays of the sun hit the earth and the earth axis changes. So at one time, the earth axis went from the pole, went from south to north. Then they melted. 
and they froze again. It was from east to west. Then they melted, and they froze again. It went from north to south. Now they're melting, and it's going to go to west to east. We have ages, we have eras, and what we have also is quads, meaning the earth is traveling, the solar system is traveling, the galaxy is traveling, the universe is traveling within the unmanifest, within the manifest, which is traveling in the unmanifest. Um, these are time continuums. No, it's not written in your Bible, it's not written in your Quran, it's not written in your Torah, but it is written on our walls. It is written in the scrolls and documents of what I have to say. So a lot of knowledge that you brothers don't believe in, right? You don't have to believe in because you're not actually believing, but these are the records of our ancestors. And I trust the records of our ancestors before I trust the people who kidnapped and put in slavery, gave us the documents, say slaves be good to your master, especially your Christian master. I told us not to want anything on this earth but to start from treasures in heaven. And when we know the whole creation is called heaven, earth is, uh, if you take the H off of earth and put it at the beginning, this is heaven's heart, you know, in, in this solar system. And so heaven is right here on this planet Earth. As we think it, we can create what we want on this Earth. Now, the soul and the spirit is a part of this body. They have to work in unison. They have to work in three. They say there's three witnesses in heaven and three witnesses on Earth. But there's three components to the body. You have the spirit, the mind, and the physical body. Yes, they say we're going to give up the physical body. That means you'll give up the spirit and you're going to give up the soul. Right? That means... Energy transfer itself in two. Our ancestors said that they believe in resurrection, right? They said they believe in robber. They said they believe in the return. The Europeans just want us to have some resurrection into some glorious heaven. And we think that's bad to stop us because in our ancestors' records, we have that mental, which is the passageway into the paradise field. Uh, another way you can say the English is heaven. And so it has a whole system. But we're going to get into this right here. But behold, the day of the Lord is coming, burning like an oven. When the Europeans came to this earth, or when the Semitic people came to the earth, they came when the violet ray uh, was in effect. When the violet ray is in effect, uh, a lot of cool air and moisture, they capsule, they freeze. Right after that period, the ultraviolet ray became the dominant ray. That's when the, you have a wobble effect, right? This is what the scientists say, that they see wobbling on the planet Earth. There's a wobbling effect, meaning the Earth is regenerating itself. So global warming has nothing to do with the toxins that the Europeans uh, put in the air. It has nothing to do with that. That's just global intoxication, global, global poisoning, right? So it's a difference between global warming and global poisoning. They're trying to mix them together. No, this has a solar magnetic field, right? And there's different solar flares, that's been sent out, which causes different rays to enter our atmosphere, our stratosphere, our hemisphere. It touches different plant life. The chemical reactions inside our RNA and DNA are always changing. So right now, we're in the indigo ray. The indigo ray is hitting. The indigo ray for the non melanated being is like a lake of fire. It penetrates them from the inside out. It stops their reproductive organs. Uh, it stops the sperm in the male, and it stops the eggs in the woman. At one time, we seen the Semitic people, or uh, we seen the, uh, the, the what they call, what's another word for Semitic? Uh, the mixed breeds, or uh, the non-melanated people. It's just different categories, and it's not me. It's just the science of this planet. Uh, under the violet rays, we seen over in Europe, they was having uh, 13 kids for every two kids they lost. Under the ultraviolet ray, right, we start seeing them have anywhere from three kids to seven kids. In the indigo ray, for every five kids they lose, they have not one. And as the indigo ray intensifies, right, for every ten they lose, there's only going to one. So they're not going to be able to replenish themselves. They're mad at the melanated people for that. It's not our fault that the creator made us that way. Because we're made of earth substances and we're made from that solar sun. And so, whichever way the rays of the sun changes, it doesn't burn us because our body, the programming, is like a computer that the European made off studying us. We adapt our code. It has a barcode, it has a code. 
It has a DNA. It has the molecules, changes, the atom, the, the protons, energy, because that's going to break the atom, and, and these planets are moving around like electrons and protons. There's a lot of things going on. We'll get into that next. So it said, for behold, the day is coming, burning like an oven. So when those caps start to melt, Europe and North America goes underwater. That's why the Europeans left Europe. They're social scientists. They, and then they, the religious scientists had them go around because they had to go to Australia. They had to go into India. They had to go into Africa. They had to go into Central and South and pieces of North America because they're trying to find some land where they can settle in when the caps melt. All oh, that's going underwater. Even North Africa, parts of North Africa is going underwater, in which we call the Sahara. It's going to be a leakage of water going in there. The Sahara is going to drain out of the south, and we're going to have a, a fresh inland ocean. This happens over a period of time. If you check the records, the Sahara was an inland ocean at one time. So there's nothing new on the sun. It's a reoccurring. So it says right here, for the day, for behold, the day is coming burning like an oven. That's the indigo ray. And all the proud, yes, all who do wickedly will be stubborn. So we know what they did when they left Europe. They roamed the earth. Uh, they rushed in. They was like an eagle, which is you get the name England from. They, they picked you up like a prey and they dropped you back down and smashed you. I mean, they came in with some peace and they came in as friends. They came in with this handshake. They came in with some whiskey. They came in with some tobacco. They came in with treaties, treaty from her imperial majesty uh, in the year of uh, her imperial majesty, Queen Victoria, Queen Elizabeth, in the year of our Lord Jesus Christ. And they came with a whole bunch of trickeration, right? And so we have to study. they Germans. They spread the germs. Everywhere they go, like Africa didn't have no malaria. It didn't have no polio. Didn't have no measles. Nobody knew about no shit like that. The Indians didn't know nothing about no smallpox. Who knew about some syphilis and some gonorrhea? These things didn't exist in the melanated man's paradigm because we live with the ecosystem. We knew that the whole earth is one ecosystem. We know that this solar system belonged to this sun. That's the sun that, in our language, was the begotten sun of the Creator. But this solar system, you know, that solar, this, we didn't, we didn't say that was God, but that was the sun that God created to be the controller of this particular solar system. So we gave it homage. We understood the spirit that when it touched the plant, the plant did what it did. It went into the earth and it came out. That the metals and the minerals, right, are were formulated by it touching the surface. And we also know. That each and every planet in the solar system is a spit of fire from the sun. Some moved at a higher velocity, some was bigger. So they cooling down process and they roasting down process was different. It made them the unique planets that we are. So we do have in creation, we do have evolution. And inside evolution, there's always creation. So don't let those people split you. Do you believe in creation or evolution? I don't believe in all that crap. It's the writings on the wall. Inside creation, you have evolution. You got a sperm. And you got an egg. Together, they evolve into a full-grown person. Then you devolve back into the earth, right? And you turn, if, you, if you're not as, as healthy, you have more maggots in your body than others. Some bodies are preserved because they had less toxin. That's what the ancestors are showing you, right? That, you know, you can leave a record. But what we want to get into is to hit you with this science. So you can do the research. You can check the record. Because I know you're Christian, preachers and ministers, and you uh Jewish and Hebrew rabbis and Islamic mulanas and hafizes and wazirs and mulinas and uh, 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 what they call them, imams. They don't want you hearing this type of information that you can go do the research yourself. Everything on the Nile Valley, don't look at Egypt as a country and don't look at what they call Sudan or Ethiopia as separate countries. Just look at the Nile Valley civilization. In Egypt, they got hundreds of pyramids. In Nubia, they got hundreds of pyramids. They got pyramids in Ethiopia that they don't ever show you. They got pyramids in Kenya. They got pyramids in Uganda. We got pyramids all over the earth. Or what we call taka, storehouses. They are, what's in it? Our stories. And in our stories, they have some wonderful science. Let's go over to this right here. Here's these Arabs living in tents, spreading throughout Arabia. Herding cows, and, uh, herding cows and goats. One day, out of nowhere, they pop up with algebra, algorithms, alchemy, astrology, alchemy. Just in one, how did they just, how did they just come overnight 
people who created no civilization, who had no structural society, overnight be in charge of science. So we say, they say that the uh, library of Tabasa, what they call Thebes, which they mean in Alexandria, uh, or we had libraries all over places. They said it got burnt. Well, if you understand code word, burnt only means that means they took the they took the scrolls and put some in Persia. They put some in with the Turks. They put some with the Arab. They sent some over into different parts of Europe, and they studied them. And they took the priests and they strangled them. They killed them. They burnt them. They did all kind of mutilation to them until they would tell them how to interpret some of these things. And some priests did a fortitude fake, and some of them end up um, loving their lives, and they told some of the knowledge. But it was a sacred code. This was not for uh, the mischief maker, because they would get this knowledge, and they would make mischief on our planet uh, because of the lack of uh, the RNA, DNA, melanation, or what we call character defect, or we call genetic defect. Um, history proved that any faculty or host or being or energy on the planet that doesn't have the right genetic code makeup doesn't survive in this environment without disturbing the environment. It has nothing to do with what with, with they call race. It just has to do with the spiritual science, the science of spirituality, or what they call biological and analytical, or the metabolism, or the molecular structure. So it says, once again, we're going to get in. For behold, the day is coming burning like an oven. That's the integral way coming in. It's going to burn these people off. It's going to melt. It's going to melt the polar cap. You don't, all you have to do, you can't fight these people with a conventional weapon. All you have to do, if you're a Nubian soul, look at each other, discuss, and communicate. What you speak comes into existence. So you have to use the imagination, the image of a nation. That's what the word inside imagination, you see the word image of a nation. You see image, right? Nation. Well, all you can see image in action, right? T I O N, right? But you know, you got T I O N, uh, uh, you got T I N, T O N, and you put an A in front of it. So image in action. What? Action rock. So you have to understand lextology. Lextology is when somebody takes your, syll your syllables and your consonants and they add vowels and they elongate certain sounds. So therefore, you might. We are most likely speaking our ancient Kemetic language, where we're speaking it in what they call an English horn, meaning we're using somebody else's nasal and their sound and their hearing, their range of the understanding of what life is. So we're in their dimension. The way you come out of it is you go and look at each other. Since you have that melanation, the melon is like a brain itself. The earth is covered in melon. The universe, everything in creation has melon. If you look at that's why our planets look at the European on what you're looking at. Why? The European Union, because those stars, they're blinking. And every time they blink, they hit nerve centers inside your brain. And they make you think wonderful thoughts, thoughts that's bigger than you. And then you look at the creation that you're in, and you get to see it from, from a different point of view. So in their Christian belief, and in their Islamic belief, and in their Hebrewism or Judaism, they tell us not to look at the stars. But we know every great civilization that was made of a like stone, a gigantic stone, these people looked up, they were astronomers. So we have all three of these religions that they're looking into the stars, they got a telescope, they try to fly out of space, but here we are, waiting on Jesus and Muhammad uh, and uh, the Messiah to come forward. And not building any civilization, education is indoctrination, so now we are in a paradigm that we let these people educate us, and with the education, let them hire us to have a job, that we can go move away from each other and we go live next door to them. So our kids can go to the same gym and, and the same ballerina class or to the same, and then we watch our community be destroyed and with your education, it changed the paradigm of thought because you've been in there. And then you say to the brothers and sisters that came off the slave ship along with your four parents or the ones that was what they call the ghetto or the projects or the slums or what they call the urban or lower class or the poor or poverty, Whichever way we need to say it, we can say it. This language is not a problem with us. So you're that one that got out. Now, 1% they say rule. So you got the, you got the 5% that live in the middle class out of the 68 million blacks. They try to tell us before they million. 
We know their numbers and their stats, and when they do the census, we can't trust them. That's why we can't trust elections. So we need to do our own census. Getting back to this right here, uh, it's a lot of different videos we can make, but I'm just trying to give you a sense to shake up your conscience. I'm not speaking to your physical body, speaking to your soul, I'm speaking to your spirit. For those who just wake up, I'm in rock. Amen. For those who don't wake up, uh, it's on you. It's on you. You got encyclopedias, you got dictionaries, you got plenty of authors that wrote books. They wrote books about Christianity, so they're going to speak about Christianity. They wrote books about ancient Nubia and ancient Egypt and Sudan, so that's what it's going to speak about. They got Greek mythology and Greek lore, they got uh, the Tao, they got Hinduism. So if you never open up one of those books, shut your mouth and don't speak on it. Right? What can I do with just the Bible? I can just know the Bible. So am I knocking the Bible? No. But if that's all I got, that's all I'm going to know. And some people say that's all you need. Use a damn line. When you went to work, they had to show you how to work that production line. They showed you, you had to show you. You had to go to school or you had to do something to learn how to do that job. So just the way you learned that information to do the job, you can learn the information to create your own corporation. You can learn that information to pass down to your kids so they can have a legacy. You can learn that information so we can start our own institutions. We can create our own paper fiat and uh, 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 our money. We can start a currency system. But we're going to get back into this right here. But we hope the day is coming, burning like an oven. And all the proud, yes, all those who do wickedly will stumble. Now, we know when these people put us in slavery, they was hella proud and they was hella wicked. You know, they used the Jesus name. Some of them used the, did it in Muhammad's name. Some of them did it in Moses' name. It was they divine right. We was ham. We was cursed. You know, we was black motherfuckers. We was niggas. Uh, I forgot the word that they used in Arabic, and, and there's another word. We was goyims, right? They just had so many different languages, right, to talk about our demise. And in their books, in their books, it's okay for them to take the Ethiopian or the Sudanese man, or what they call the Egyptian, or what they call the Nigerian or the African. All these names are synonymous with the continent. In their books, it's okay to take your daughter and go up in her, to take your wife and to kill you, and take your wife and to discard her or pass her around in their family. In their books. And you pastors and you rabbis and you imams, you might say, well, they meant, they didn't say, they didn't do it right. When niggas are sir, are man, Please, in this day and time, show us how to do it right. Because y'all tell us it's going to get worse before it get better. That means you're not even willing to stand up and change the condition. But if you want to use the paradigm of Christ, he says, greater works than me, he should do. So whatever he did, y'all saying he's the greatest man on earth, that's not what he said. He said, you will do greater stuff than him. Another thing he said, Please pray that the Lord of the harvest come. So it's a harvest. Now we need the Lord of the harvest to come. But what he's coming with? He's coming with laborers. I signed up to be a laborer, to build new Kamat, to build the Lord of the Kamat, to build joint African markets. I signed up as a laborer to start some farmlands, to community gardens, to make our own clothes. We're going to go back right here. It says, but to you who fear my name, the son of righteousness shall rise with healing in his wings. So, it says S-U-N. Another name for that is a tongue, a tomb. Right, it's many different names because it's, it's just a symbol. But under that symbol, we were our greatest zenith in life, and we were blessed by the universe. We were blessed by the creator. That's what we knew. It wasn't a belief system. It wasn't a faith system. And so, the people, the babies, it says the children should leave. It says the young people should have vision, the old man should have dreams. We're in that day and time where our children are doing the study, and a lot of them don't want to be a part of uh, Islam, or, uh, Christianity, or Hebrewism. And so we have people who have to recruit, or who have to propagate, or who have to go into you and tell you this is the right way. This is the right way. Because if you leave us the fuck alone, or if you just leave us alone, if you need to hear it without a cuss word, we will gravitate to our ancestors. It's only natural that Chinese gravitate to their ancestors. People from India gravitate to their ancestors. Even though y'all said we are Christian, these motherfucking Europeans know they can go back to Italy. They know they can go back to Germany because they came here as immigrants. Everybody came here as immigrants. So they got a paper trail, documentations, import, export, and the ports when they got here. Your black ass is going to be on your left. You're the only one who wanted to be all human. Right? Human means... Shade of a man. You, 
You the original. Matter of fact, they took every African tribe and they placed it in you. So you, the African African, you the all in all. They took some Europeans and placed them in you. Right? Why did he do that? Well, we all the same. No, we ain't the same. You got melon. You're covered in soul. So he placed all these Europeans. So when they come with their trickery and their wickedness, and it seems right to you, you can deny it. You can rebuke it. You can repent from it. Don't let it penetrate you. And until you can see the way they maneuver it. So you've been blessed. You have a mind inside you to throw that old mind away and come into a new mind. It says, You who fear my name, the son of righteousness shall arise with hilly in his wings, and you shall go out and grow fat like star fed calves. Here we are. We talking about organizing, we talking about business, we talking about making international global connections, we talking about finding the future, uh, finding the wheel, we talking about using our skills and talents, we talking about using our gifts. We talk about using our prayers and our actions and our activity to make a future for our children 50 to 100 to 1,000 years worth down the line. Just like our ancestors did when they made the walls of Zimbabwe. Just like they did when they made Timbuktu. Just like they did when they made those pyramids along the Big Canal. They left recorded records for us to see the potential and also the reality of the greatness. It's one thing to have potential. It's another thing to have that potential based in reality and that reality based in the future potential. I want to get more into uh, this doctrine. I didn't mean to take it, but the time. It said, you should trample the wicked, for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet. On that day, I do do this, says the Lord of hope. Well, we say rock. So when he burn them off, right, they're going to have all kind of cancers and all kind of, they can't breathe. Uh, it, they ain't going to be able to think. It's like Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. Out of it, all the right people on earth. Out of all the Europeans on earth, out of all the Caucasians on earth, do you hear the stuff that came out of the mouth? Do you see the record of their background? Do you see their history? And then you niggas, you Negro peers and you Afro peers who mad at some blacks for not voting for Hillary and mad at some blacks for not voting for Donald Trump, we ain't had no choice. We vote for God. We vote for God. We vote for God. We vote for the Creator. We vote for the Creator. We vote for the ancestors. We vote for the ancestors. We vote for each other. We vote for each other. We vote for our future. We vote for our future. We vote for our babies. We vote for our babies. Make a choice today to unlock the keys to these scriptures. A lot of these pastors, rabbis, they now say they don't mean the way we looking at it. It's okay. They're waiting for you. Stay in that slave paradigm and get what you've been getting within this system. We're here to be blessed that our minds will be opened up through the universal soul, through the universal spirit. And if you don't like that language, you can say Holy Spirit, because I know y'all trip off of words real quick. But you got to say it like this. It's all English, man. This ain't our language. No matter what fucking way you say it. Oh, you shouldn't cuss. Okay, well, I apologize for y'all who get offended. But for y'all strong ways, hey, it don't make a difference with what you're saying. It says, you should trample the wicked, for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet on the day that I do this. Okay, so there's a fire in this earth. There's a fire in the sky. There's a fire in the planet. We have souls on our feet. We have souls in this. Our body is covered in soul. So it's the vibration from the fire in the earth, right, which is your earthly biorhythm. You have your solar rhythm. When those two come together, right, that you are solar powered up. That means your penile gland and your, 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 your pituitary gland, your third eye, your fourth eye, or your dark matter, your black energy, or your left hemisphere, and your right, your right hemisphere, and your left hemisphere, and your right hemisphere, and your left hemisphere, and your right hemisphere, and your left hemisphere, your left hemisphere is activated together in unity under the indigo ray. Remember, so remember that this is a very important time. We're waking up in different communities. Sometimes, look at that nigga, that nigga crazy. Or, look at that sister, that sister crazy. Or, do you believe this? Or do you believe that? Hey, they trying to do something. They trying to wake somebody up. Everybody's not going to wake in the same frequency. In the revelations of the Bible, right? Did we say we believe in the Bible? No, we didn't say we believe in it. Do we know the Bible? Yes. Is the Bible symbolic language? Yes. Do anybody can go in the Bible and make an interpretation? Yeah. Does anybody who have interpretation say this, and that person interpretation right? Yeah. So you can feel it in your soul. You can feel it in your spirit. You call on the Holy Spirit. You can call on Jehovah. You can call on Yahweh. You can call on Allah. You can call on Amin Ra. And we can do this exercise right here. Say the oldest name is Amin Ra. Then we have what's supposed to be, we heard Yahweh. 
before we heard Allah, right? Because the Arabs supposed to have came out of Abraham. So we said like this, Amin Ra, Yawa, Allah, Wah, Wah. The Native Americans say Wah, Wah, right? And in the Asians, they say Kia. So we let's do it again. Amin Ra, Kia, Wah, Wah, Yawa, Allah. So now we understand you can have a speech impediment or you can speak a different dialect or your tongue can't make certain sounds. So stop fighting over these names, please. Saying it's not a word, it's a vibration. Right? Let, it, let, let it put you in tune to your true inner self. Peace, family. King Ajalana and Subu just wanted to get at the Nubian souls. This ain't for everybody. Everybody ain't gonna feel it. Uh, some people might talk, walk away talking crap. Some might embrace it and say, hey, I want to be a part of that. Well, this ain't no cult. This ain't no uh, thing that you got to be a part of. You can go right there and start an organization in your own neighborhood. And do your research, you know, as long as you change the face of the earth and with positivity, uh, movement. We ain't talking about peace, we're talking about harmony and tranquility. And faith always look like something. Faith always have a manifestation. Faith without works is dead, and works without faith is dead. Why am I using biblical language? Nigga, because 85% of our people here in the United States, in South America, in throughout Africa, is in the biblical language that the colonizer gave us. Can I use some other language? In other videos, we will. I said in different ways, right? We're multi-level people. We're multifunctional. We're multi -vision. We can multitask. Black power, black empowerment, nuclear